Hey, this is Dave coming at you from Michigan. I just wanted to do another video. I guess this would be the concrete pour part four just to show you the finished product. I, I was here when he was doing the final work, but it was Hunter from Revolutionary Concrete. He was working hard and he had the saw, cut, saw cutter going and the power washer going, so it wouldn't have made a good video because of the audio. But basically what they do after that last video where you saw it was smooth, they put a, a solution that has like sugar or molasses in it and they just put it in like a pump thing and they just spray it on by hand. And then once they spray that solution on the concrete that's setting up, they covered it with like a thin plastic and then they broom out all the air out of the plastic. And I guess what the sugar does is it keeps, it looks like it's about an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch on the top layer of the concrete. I guess uh, what Gavin said is the sugar makes it to where the concrete doesn't set up. So they covered it around uh, noon or one o'clock that day. And then they came back the next day, early in the morning. And, um, oh, and then when they put the plastic down, they put, they threw some sand on it just to hold the plastic in place in case the wind grabbed it. But yeah, it looks really good. But anyways, the next day they, they, uh, Hunter came here and he pulled the plastic off and then he took the power washer. I guess you can use a hose too. You can spray it, but they used the power washer. And um, it just takes the top, uh, like the actual Portland cement out of there, and it leaves the uh, the actual piece P rock, and it it makes like for a, I mean it's it's really cool. It's still slippery. It's it's not like it's sharp. Like all the ro rocks are still rounded in there, and um, I hope the video's doing this justice because it looks really good. And they just and then after he power washes it. He did his uh, control cuts where they actually put a lot of cuts like here, here, back, and then one out through here um, between the, the posts inside, um, you know, plus sign right here in the center of the window, a couple in the back, and then a mirror image of that on the other side. Um, then after they power wash it, they saw cut it, and then um, after he saw cuts it, he power washes that off to get rid of the, all the dust from the saw cutting. And then after that, I believe he puts a, some type of a sealant solution. And he said he, there's something mixed in that solution that not only seals it, but adds a little bit of um, like a grit material that keeps it from being very slippery. And you can tell it's, it's really nice and uh, it grips pretty good. Now, when you touch it, it feels slippery on the stones, but this is uh, a lot better in my opinion, as far as just leaving it smooth um, just because of the winter and Gavin um, see I thought I was gonna have a step left here a little two or three inch step and he actually formed it to where he brought it up an inch and a half higher than I thought he would and then he sloped this slightly steeper and he actually made it to where we have no step which is which is awesome because I mean that's just cool that's not really what I thought would happen I didn't think we could do it so he actually pulled that off and to me, I could be wrong, but it looks like they actually, from the front door to the front here, it's steeper and then it, flan it, it kind of fans out each way to where that right there isn't as steep as in front of the door. So it, it's basically about as perfect as you can get as far as a layout. So uh, they did a really good job on this. Um, yeah, it's, it's Gavin from uh, Revolutionary Concrete it's out of Clio, Michigan. So if you're ever if you're in the Michigan area, um, in that vicinity, I guess, uh, give him a call. You'll probably just find his number on uh, online. But anyways, yeah, they came in. They did a good job. He'll definitely be coming back and doing some steps once we have the house built and start doing landscaping. I'm having some nice steps. I'll have him give me a couple ideas. I think I'm by the time the finished grade's done here, there's going to be like maybe two steps. And then I'm going to swale out like a curve with a sidewalk to kind of mimic the shape of the house, go like that way and then this way. And then it's going to tie back into, <laughs> I always hang my camera down too low, but yeah, like this and then kind of swale that way and then tie back into the driveway and then kind of curve into the driveway. And the same thing on the porch back by my daughter's bedroom um, have like a walkway that ties back on the other side of the garage into the driveway. So 
from an early stage, I think uh, it'll, it'll look cool. I can kind of envision what the landscaping and stuff will look like when this is all done. But anyways, just wanted to show you what it looks like. I hope this video is showing it good. Um, but anyways, uh, this is Dave uh, signing off.